Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Dream Coma. We're on chapter 3, The Graveyard. We're on the bad ending track because I punched a bunch of birds in the first chapter and it's just been downhill ever since. But it seems like the story has been crafting itself in a way that is completely geared towards the bad ending. Like, I can't make good choices. I'm, I'm forced to do bad ending choices because of those choices I made at the very beginning. Which I think is really neat and really makes me want to play through the game again once we get through this first playthrough, which, oh god, <laughs> I have no idea how long that's gonna be, but we're going to the graveyard now, part of me makes me feel like I'm already in the grave, like I'm gonna freaking dig my way out of the coffin here, sure enough, can I go back down, no I can't, but I bet you this was me, and now we're in the graveyard, we have our scissors and we have our magnifier, and we were brought here, ooh, can I punch the birds, oh, they nibbled on me, okay, oh shit, they bite me! I gotta stop touching them. Can I touch them again? Okay, I'm done touching the birds. Maybe they bite me because if you take a look at my status here, the birds hate me. <sighs> but we came here after the mystery man in the mask sent us here. We have to find something, I believe. Let's go take a peek and just start clicking around here and see what we can all do. I can take the shovel, don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And if you don't know what Bad Dream Coma is... Ooh, I can take a bone, too. It's a point-and-click horror adventure game where you try to find your way around these nasty spiders and find your way through the story or understand the story as you're going through it because we're in a coma right now and our big objective, I believe, is to wake up. I don't know how the heck we're going to do that, but we trying, man. We trying. Can I read any of these? No, I cannot. I don't want to touch all the birds because I feel like they got bad intentions. I can't take the spider, can I? Everything's so bitey. And within this game, there is all sorts of little things that are kind of hidden that you're trying to find. That you are trying to... Solve, basically. Can I go down this way? Aha, uh -huh, let's go down here. And then over here. And then over here! Oh my gosh, there is a lot here. Oh my god, where, where am I? I'm not ready to talk to you. I'll take this pickaxe, though. Okay, where can I all go? Can I go to the left? I can go down. I can go down. I can go down. Okay, so this just keeps going back and forth. And then this is the old lady. I got lost, man! I started clicking too fast! <laughs> so this is like nothing but old lady town over here. And then if I go... Down, and then to the right... Guys! How did I get lost?! <laughs> I'm lost in a video game! Okay, here we go. Here we- nope! <laughs> There's so many different areas here, so I need to go down... Down... Right... Left. I'm at the beginning again. Oh, there's so many places in here. Oh, this one's gonna take a while. Okay, let's get into chapter three, everybody. I have a pickaxe, a bone, a shovel, a scissors, and a magnifying glass. We need to take this one step at a time so that I don't freaking get lost again. So, over here is the big spider. I don't think I can do anything with the big spider yet. Because I can try to use these items and it tells me no, no, no. So, I think we'll come back to this area when we're ready to deal with freaking What's this thing called? Oh my gosh, what's it called in Harry Potter? I'm not even gonna say it because you'll like, you'll get mad if I butcher it. It's Hagrid's pet! So, was there anything worthwhile over here? Doesn't look like it. Straight out the gate. Can I go inside? I can touch that, but I cannot go inside. And I would imagine that you guys are interested in me just- Oh, What did I do there? You guys are interested in me just clicking around and seeing what happens, rather than me just going to the main story bits every time? Because I feel like part of what makes this game so- Oh, so cool! That was probably bad. No? That wasn't bad. What did I do here? Shovel? Oh! I feel like part of what makes this game so cool is all the different things that can happen when you touch things. That's a dead guy! Do I get- Oh, oh shit, he's waking up. Why, hello, sir! I don't understand Grumble. No? Anything happened there? And I like checking the status thing because it kind of gives you an idea as like the choices you're making, what they do. <laughs> to push you towards the bad ending. And I kind of want to get as many of those things as possible for when I do go back and play through it. That way I know what not to do, you know? Like don't stab the guy in the eye. Or don't cut off the dude's hand. Or don't punch a spider. Or don't punch a bird. Don't smash a baby in the head. That type of stuff. <laughs> what about you, huh? You like bones? No. You like scissors? Oh! Holy shit, he likes scissors. I just chopped off his arm. And I have his hand. Did that do anything? I hope you're okay with me taking your hand, sir. 
And I can't take back the shovel or the pickaxe. But I can go up and I can go down. So let's go up and see what this gate's all about. What's this? A hot air balloon and a star. Okay. This looks like- those seem like they are the main two things. Otherwise, it's just the graveyard, right? Maybe the tree? Hot air balloon, tree, and star. Okay. What about you, bird? He'll bite me. They always bite me. Quit biting. Oh! 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 What did I do? I think it's because I touched the thorns. I'm really getting hurt here, aren't I? Oh no! Don't touch nasty plants! I don't know what nasty plants did. It doesn't really seem to be a part of any sort of ending thing here. Okay, well don't touch the nasty plants. And the game said that if you tried to- oh. Oh, I picked it up. I got a bloody flower. Oh, I didn't even realize that. The game did say that you need to be careful with where you click because any little choice or any little click you make could have very serious consequences. And we've been seeing that. So I've got a nasty plant. Let's go down this way now. And start making our way through the graveyard and maybe try to find the tree or the hot air balloon or maybe the star. Hey, it's the worm! You see the worm right there? I had a worm in my hand earlier in this game. I can go this way, but I don't think I'm ready yet. What about you? Don't touch the birds, they're useless to me. But usually- oh, memento. Memento mori. Usually you can- Oh god, look at the worm go. You can tell if you can touch something because there'll be a little question mark that shows up. And we're going to try to find those little question marks and see if I can use my items on them. But it doesn't appear there's anything right here, at least not yet. So oh, that was going back to the cemetery. Okay, so let's go down the path a little bit more and see what's at this door. This is locked. But there's something I can do right here. And I can't use either of these items. The bone perhaps? Oh, the bone. Does it unlock? No. So maybe there's more bones to be found? Or can I use the hand now? No. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep moving around here. And now in terms of items that are clickable, those are not quite as obvious. You can click all sorts of things in here. And get bit by the birds over and over again. You can click all sorts of items here. And... They'll give you different things, be it interactions or picking them up, etc. But in terms of combining items, that's usually when the question mark shows up. But there's more stuff to do up here, so let's go to the old cemetery. Let's see what we got. Oh, maybe the flower in here? Here we go. That's it? Did I do anything? Did that do anything to the status? No, it did not. Interesting. So let's pick through these graves here. Oh, I hate saying that, but let's try to find something here. This tree looks like it might be the tree from the picture, actually. Maybe. I don't know. It's a rather big one. I could be making that up. I'm just kind of guessing here. This place is kind of giving me the creeps for sure. I really like this Bad Dream game. I feel like I have to check out the other Bad Dream games once we're done with this because it's been so cool. Go to the bench, and here's the old lady. What are you doing here, my child? Have you come here and search in the source of our problem? That's a fool's errand. The death has long left to this place. We're not able to get away from this dream without her. What? You see? It's like we're all in a coma together based on what I've been hearing from the other characters that we're seeing here. We have to die here in order to get back to the real world. Oh, really? Sadly, death has abandoned us. Is that why that guy wasn't dying in the hospital? That would totally make sense. I, like, mutilated the guy. He had nothing left to him. No eyeballs, no hands or toes. Or he was completely just torn apart butchered, but he was not dying. He was bleeding, but he wasn't dying. Even to those who were hunted down by scary monsters. Funny. Immortality causes suffering to people. You got hairy legs, don't you? Hmm. And your toes point inward. My toes point outward. It's bad for you. I wish they'd point inward. It makes your hips all wonky otherwise. So! As you may have noticed, only people can't die here. Yeah, birds can die just fine. Nothing but us is real here. The whole world is built on our imaginations. Including you, maybe not? Unfortunately, it gets worse every moment. People are scared of their own shadows. So, their minds make up other monsters. 
The dream is turning into an even worse nightmare. It's a vicious circle. This is so weird! Let's take a look around this little graveyard. Do you have anything else to say? You don't have to worry about me, my child. I can take care of myself. I've been here for a long time and I've learned some tricks. When it comes to you, take this camera. Oh! There's a mad gravedigger wandering through the graveyard. He's decent, but not too clever of a creature. He tries to get all people to the grave, no matter how dead or alive. In case he tries to catch you, take a photo. He's usually scared of the flash. He looks tough, but he's a coward inside. Interesting. Should check out the crypt. You can find some clues there. But the door is locked with some kind of complicated lock. No idea how to unlock it. Well, we already kind of got that going on, right? When we put the bone up there, so that's cool! Look for clues in the crypt. Sadly, I don't know how to unlock the door. Okay, so she's done telling us things. We've reached the end of the line in the graveyard, I believe. I'm just clicking around to make sure I didn't miss nothing. Alright, well. Let's try to go back to the crypt, I guess. Do you like hands? Oh, you do like hands. Oh, he's eating it. What do, what, do we, what do we do about you eating that? Are you happy that you're eating that? You going to give me a reward? Can I flash you? No. Why are you eating that? <laughs> what did that do? Oh, 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 I got a thing. I don't even know where I got the thing. I just picked up matches. Holy shit. I picked up matches. They must have been right here by this grave the whole time. Oh my god, I got so stuck. Okay, so matches. I know where I can use matches. I can use them over here, right? One, two, three, matches. Oh, and then I got a key. Oh my god, everything's progressing again. I got a key. Can I get inside of you? No, but there's plenty of other areas I could use some keys here, huh? So let's go... Not to the bench. Go to the statue. And then go back to the crypt. And then go to the old cemetery. And then just keep going in circles because the cemetery is a big circle. Even though it's probably not cemetery. Use the key over here. No, don't use the key over here. So there's a place where I can use the key, which would be over here. Oh my god, I'm finally getting somewhere again. I got a hand glove thing, right? That's a glove. I seriously got so stuck, guys. You have no idea. I was just clicking everything. Like my- Quit wiggling! My hand is like sore right now. From clicking around so much. Okay, so. This feels good. Oh, hi, mouse. How you doing? Oh, shit, it bit me. Do mice not like me or something? What did I do to you? I still got matches. I still got the shot. <laughs> he came at me so fast, but I think I got him. <laughs> Whoa, that was creepy. Dear Lordy. So apparently the freaking gravekeeper. Hangs out in there. Well, I got a glove. I can't go into here. Can I look at anything with a mouse here? I think we're just about done in here, because I'm clicking just about everything. And I ain't grabbing nothing. All I did was piss off the gravekeeper, honestly. Did that do anything for the status? No, it did not. So I'm leaving. I got a glove. I don't know what I'm going to use the glove for quite yet. Oh, oh, you dropped something. You dropped up some rotten meat. Is it because you've been eating? Ooh, do you want a glove, sir? Well, I got some rotten meat. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But at least there's progress a little bit here. I like progress. Do you want my rotten meat, sir? Oh, wait, no, maybe the mouse wants the rotten meat. That would make sense, wouldn't it? You hungry little guy? There it is. Now he's dead. And I can grab the skull. And I probably need a skull and crossbones to open up the crypt door, right? So let's go back to the crypt right here. Nice. Now I probably need one more thing. Do you want a glove? You don't want a glove. Well, I got matches and a glove. More than what I had for about a half hour there. So let's keep advancing here. See what it is I can do with this glove. I don't have the slightest of goddamn clues of what I could do with a glove. Oh, you're bleeding from the eyeballs now. That's cute. Can I burn those off? No. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I can start a fire to scare the spider? 
Or maybe the spider is going to eat enough that I'll be able to take the hand, right? That might make sense. So let's actually go back to the crypt, I think. And then go back to the old cemetery. No, not the old cemetery. Go back to the crypt. I can't do this anymore! I am so bad at this! I just keep going back and forth. This one? Old cemetery, no. Go this way, thank you. So, he's probably all done eating over there, right? I mean, the glove might have been nice to take this freaking plant. That might have been a good idea. Use the glove on that instead of getting prickled. But I would imagine that McSpider over here, yep, is eventually going to be done eating. Perfect. And now I can go back and get into the crypt, I believe, right? Right here. And that should unlock. And we're in the crypt! I have no idea what we're doing in the crypt. We're trying to find our way out of this hell. A a that wasn't a good idea. Shouldn't have touched that. Got do I gotta glove it? No. I got matches for a candle. Okay. Anything I want to read in here real quick? No, we're not into reading in these parts. Can I open you? No, I cannot. Let's do this. Okay. And now this is opened up. Oh boy, it's a Dragon Ball. Okay, well. Magnifying glass that? No. I have a Dragon Ball. What should I do with the Dragon Ball? Leave the Dragon Ball alone for a little bit. What's this book? Ars Ben Morinde. Morindi? Okay. It got really quiet and I feel like I'm gonna die. That's usually what happens when things get really quiet. You just die. I can't take the scythe. I can try to leave. Oh boy, there's candles everywhere now. Oh boy. What's grandma up to? Nope, that's not grandma. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. Grandma. Grandma? Hi. Huh. The morning comes after the night. Then people begin to wake up from their dreams. Try to end the night somehow. Maybe it'll give you some clues. If I wanted to turn off nighttime, what would I do? Because apparently waiting is not enough. Now, if you take a peek here, there's a bunch of times. And these times might mean something. I don't know. TBH. But what I'm going to try to do <laughs> is go over here. Because there's been nothing here this whole time. Matthew T. 1.54 p.m. to 3.57 a.m. I don't understand. That was so creepy. I don't understand these clues. But we will find our way out of here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, okay, okay. You see the star? There it is. Okay, that star was a big deal, wasn't it? Because if you take a look over here, this star, right, is so I need to go to the left in order to find the air balloon in the tree perhaps I think that would make sense because if the star was right here that means the air balloon in the tree have to be over the other way right they have to be like up into here so which tree would it be it's got to be one of these trees over here right if, unless I'm just unless I'm just making things up at this point which is possible you know but I feel like the star was a big deal but I got a star <gasps> So there's five stars I need to click. Okay. <laughs> there's another one. Okay, I get it now. I gotta end the night by getting rid of all of the stars. Nice! So I got three stars so far. Is there one over here? No. Oh, wait, do you count as a star? <gasps> you bitch. You sneaky little. Okay, so one more star. And then nighttime's all gone, right? That makes sense. No more nighttime. No more mama. There it is. Boom! It's going to here. And I made a little Satan thingy. Perfect. What do we got inside of there? A glove? Nope. A candle? Nope. I'm just gonna back up now. I'll smack you!
Oh shit, it's not over. I thought we were all done. Wait a second. I thought I wanted to end the night. Not like, make it even more night. I did the exact opposite. Wait, this is the bad ending. Auto save. what did I do? Nothing. Grandma, where are you? Grandma, come to me. You've met her, haven't you? What? You? She was here! The hiding place must have hidden something very important. Something so precious that it brought death itself here. Oh boy, I found it. Probably because it was a Dragon Ball. Oh boy, okay, so. You got nothing new to say. I found the Dragon Ball. Now where do I go? All the birds are gone. I went into your hiding spot, but hey, hey, you took the skull. You sneaky lady. So where would you be putting the skull now? Hmm. You have to be hiding something over here. Don't follow me. You don't want me to follow you. Okay, you know what? I won't for a second. I won't follow you. I'll humor you and see what the hell if anything is hiding around in here. Just to take a peek at perp. Oh, nope. I'm following you. Too late. There ain't nothing cool over here. Hello! Oh. Piece of eraser. Wah. What do I need to erase now? Can I erase you? No. But this is all drawing. That was really weird. That was like a different thing entirely. Like the hand was different. The colors are different. Maybe I can erase people. Can I erase myself? I wonder. Like, that seemed really, really important. I would not be surprised if I can go to this old lady and erase the shit out of her. Have you found the piece of the eraser? Yes. This is it? Death has erased people from this world with it. If we could just find the other pieces. I've gotten so far, and I need to keep searching for other pieces of the eraser. Well, can I follow her now? If I was an eraser, where would I be? I mean, not in here anymore. She took that away. Unless I gotta refine to the skull. <clears throat> Cause she don't, she don't want me going over this way. And I can't magnify. Yeah, but she like erased this entire thing out of here. Like you can't actually go after her. She made it disappear. Can I erase anything else? Do I wanna? This is weird, man. Can I erase this? Can I erase it open? Don't look like it. So what I need to do is I need to find something that can I I can interact with. And then erase it. Right? Can I erase my grave? No, I already tried that. Can I erase the spider? Doesn't look like there's like anything to touch here anymore. But I gotta erase something here. There's gotta be a clue somewhere. Oh, hello! Who the hell are you? You have the tiniest head. Good evening. Please don't be scared. <laughs> You're adorable. <gasps> You're wearing the head from the bear in the hospital! Awful things are going on out there, but it's nice and safe in here. Outside of the freaking dude that tried eating me. But who am I talking to? Oh, you're that bully, aren't you? I heard you did bad things at that hospital. This is not a behavior of a polite person. You should be ashamed. Your parents won't be happy. Anyway, do you have parents? I don't, but my friend used to have them. He asked me to guard them. They're sleeping dug deep into the ground. That's not too much work with them, but it'd be easier if I could have my own body. It was stolen, and now I'm left with that. It wasn't nice. Could you help me look for my little body? Uh. I can erase you. Holy shit. Oh, God. Was I... Oh. Oh. The lying dead soon. <laughs> okay, well. I, I erased him. And took his little head. And now I am back in a hospital, I believe. Oh boy, bloody teddy head. Great. Anything for me to touch in here? Or for me to glove up in here? Don't look like it. Well, the eraser's gone. I don't know why I did that. Didn't I need more eraser? Do I need your eyeball, sir? 
I can take your eyeball if you want me to. I can just go shove it in my inventory and walk on by. So, I do not find, or I have not found a way to leave this room to get back to the teddy head. Oh, I have an empty jar though, so that's neat. Should I, uh, collect your eyeball perhaps? No? You're just gonna sit there and kinda look at me? <laughs> well, I think it's about time we leave this area and figure out what the hell is going on. So did I just free somebody by erasing them? Is that a thing? Did I do a thing? I feel like I did a thing. So now we need to find out wherever the hell the little teddy hangs out, huh? Can I erase? Oh wait, no, the eraser's gone. That's no good. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, I took the blood from the teddy bear head and made a door and now I can go to the forest? What? I don't get it. What did I just, how did that work? What? Chapter three, comp what? Uh, I feel like I missed out on something. That was such a weird ending. Chapter four, the forest. And now there's just lovely little mushrooms all over the place. Status. I didn't get anything out of that area. So did I do the right things? I don't even know. Can't use my teddy bear head. Is this like some Hanston girl? Oh, that's a dog. Okay, so. That was chapter three, and this thing has a rat tail too, doesn't it? If you guys want to see what the dog's all about. <laughs> let me know. We'll play this in the next video. Holy crap. This has been Bad Dream Coma. We're in chapter four of the forest. I have no idea what's going on. Chapter three really dicked me up, man. I'm just so confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Go ahead and leave a like if you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe so you can see more of this game. And I'll see you guys in the next video.